$8 billion surplus. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama and I will end this war. Retirement funds. 
That's what this congressional bus office just, congressional budget office just for Two trillion dollars. Pray God it'll come back. But right now, two trillion dollars. And people are relying on the retirement. That's wiped out of their 401k. That doesn't even count how many of you and how many folks in my home town are relying on the value in their home, the equity in their home, as either necessary to be able to send their kid to college or that was going to be part of their retirement. You heard Debbie talk about it. Home, they're going to downsize. One of the reasons downsides is take that extra money that you're going to make in the process and invest it in your retirement. Well, folks, Barack Obama, Barack Obama said, this is critical. It's not only important that we get ourselves out of this economic crisis. What we need, we need a wholesale change in our economic philosophy. Again, that change is not going to come from John McCain, as good a man as he is. Ladies and gentlemen, on Thursday night, excuse me, on Tuesday night, the debate, John McCain said, speaking of Lurch, he was going to spend, he had a new idea. <laughs> Sarah Palin says, you know, I was in second grade when Joe Biden was elected to the United States Senate at age 29. That's true. But she was in sixth grade the last time John had a new idea. You know, John suspended his campaign to go home and solve this crisis, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. <laughs> then, so John said, new idea. On Tuesday night, he said he was going to spend $300 billion of your hard-earned tax money to buy from banks mortgages that they now own. He was going to buy them originally, which made sense, it's already in the law, at market value. <laughs> Meaning that if the house would sell for $100,000, even though the mortgage was 150, dollars we'd buy it at $100,000, and the bank would have to eat the 50 because they're the ones that are greedy going out bundling these loans. Then John said he had to clarify the plan on Wednesday morning. He clarified it, saying, when we pointed out that we already knew that, we already gave <laughs> That's one of the things Brock supported and I supported in this so-called recovery plan. We already gave the second, hey guys, I know you're all out there. Uh, um, he gave, we, we already gave the Secretary of Treasury the ability to do that. But Don, when that was pointed out, I said, no, 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 I really have a really good idea. <laughs> not a joke, right? I don't think this is an actual fiction. So what did John McCain say Wednesday morning? He put on his website, no, we're going to, in fact, let banks spend, we're going to spend 300 billion of your money to allow banks to go out and buy these bad mortgages at not market value, but face value. So that in fact, if there was 150,000 bucks owed on the mortgage, we buy it for $150,000. So the banks wouldn't lose a single penny, not a penny. So folks, instead of forcing companies like Countrywide, to modify their loans so they didn't lose everything, to sit down and negotiate and reduce the principal and reduce the interest. So they took the hit. They took the hit for their greed and their risky behavior and demand that they help families stay in their homes. Instead of that, John's plan gives these companies no incentive at all to help these families. Because if the government's going to take your money and go ahead and buy from countrywide, all those bad loans so they don't lose a penny, why would they go out and sit down and negotiate with people who are strapped to lower their loans and to lower campaigns to, continues to lurch, as my grandpa would say, from pillar to post, trying to convince you they're capable of dealing with these serious problems. 